It can be so overwhelming when you're choosing a new set of wheels. Spitfire have over eight different shapes of wheels to choose from, with each one of those shapes catering to a certain style of skateboarding. But where do the Spitfire tablets come into the picture? Now I've got a set of 54mm tablets. I'm riding 54mm conicals at the moment, so I'm gonna be doing a comparison between those wheels and these wheels here. Straight off the bat, the biggest comparisons are these are a slimmer wheel with a wider riding surface, and there's no cutaways on the inside. It's completely squared along the side here. So in my mind, I always thought the tablets were we're gonna have more friction when you're grinding and sliding because there is no cutaway on the inside there. You've got the whole face of the wheel that's gonna be hard up against the ledge or the rail when you're doing these tricks. And because this has a wider riding surface, I usually get stuck when I'm trying back tails on a ledge because of the riding surface, it grips to the side a lot. So I usually have trouble with wheels that are wider. So I think these wheels are gonna be very similar to the conical. So I wanna try and see why these wheels even exist. Should you just ride the conical wheels instead? Like what's the point of the tablets? So I'm gonna put these wheels through all types of tests today. I'm gonna go skate skate parks. I'm gonna hit some street spots. I'm gonna be testing how well they control in rough surfaces and in smooth surfaces. How they go skating transition, how they are on flat bars or rails and ledges as well. I know the lockings are gonna be good because it's squared off on the side here. I definitely wanna test how back tails go because there is a lot of riding surface here. That's my biggest worry about these wheels. And then I'm gonna do some flip tricks as well because you just need to know how the board is gonna flip when you've got certain wheels. This doesn't have much of a rounded edge at all. So I think I'm gonna have to really pop my tricks to get my board off off the ground and by the end of the session I'm going to get to the bottom of if these wheels should even exist or you should just skate the conical wheels because they seem very similar so I'm gonna set these up put them through all the tests today I hopefully get some cool street clips and skate park clips for you guys because I haven't been skating a lot of street in these videos and a lot of you guys have been asking for it so let's set them up head to the first skate park warm up a bit wear these in let you guys know how they feel and then I'll get into some of the tests while I'm at the first park so let's go Right, these wheels are the real deal. I take everything back. I take all my questions back. These wheels definitely deserve to exist. They're amazing so far. So obviously I was skating a smooth skate park and I was a bit worried having brand new wheels at a smooth slippery skate park, but there was no slip outs at all. I had perfect grip and I think it's because of the wide riding surface on these wheels. So I didn't slip out or lose my control once. In transition, they felt well. They kept their speed. They kept rolling smoothly around the whole park. They were just so good from the get-go. My predictions were true when it come to locking in on ledges and rails. The lock-in was perfect. The only thing I felt when I was trying to hurricane that square rail is that my board was gripping a little bit and I don't know if it's because of the wheels have no cut in on the side so I think it was a bit more grippy when it comes to the hurricane trick but I managed to land a sloppy one but when it comes to the back tails there was no stick at all I landed like five six seven back tails even the back tail shove it out but everyone I didn't land it still slid anyway so I had no trouble so these hold their grip on the ground but they didn't stick too much to the side of the rail so back tails were working perfectly as well so the wheels have surprised me so much they're amazing I love them so far I've just changed locations 
Mountains. I'm down at the Port Kembla DIY spot. We're gonna just skate around here. I'm gonna try and skate some more flat bars because there was no round rails for me to skate at that other park. So I'm gonna do that here because there's heaps of round rails here. Do a few more flip tricks. Get used to a bit more rough ground because I haven't ridden them on rough ground yet. And get back to you guys about how they're feeling after those tests. And then we're gonna hit some street spots. Lock-ins on the round bar were perfect, exactly like I thought it would be because it's such a harsh edge to lock in, so I didn't slip out of any tricks. Actually got the back spin first try. I haven't done that trick for years, so I'm super hyped about that one. But I gotta be honest, those slip tricks were so hard. It took me so long to land a tray flip, and that's one of my most consistent tricks. Because it's such a square wheel, it doesn't have any radius on it, so there's no like rolling scoop. And I don't pop my tray flips very well, so I struggled to do it. But all the other flip tricks were all right, but it was still pretty hard, so I don't have to get used to popping my tricks a little bit harder if I wanna do flip tricks. But other than that, they're sweet so far. But we're about to head off and hit some street spots now. So I'll be able to test what these are like on rough ground. So let's head to some street spots. Yeah. 
So these wheels actually impressed me so much. First impressions straight away were great. Skating that smooth, slippery skate park, I held my grip so much, I didn't slip out one bit. Lock-ins on the square rails and the ledges were perfect. Skating transition, there was a lot of control and grip on that too. Back tails, which was my most concerning problem, were working really good. So the wide riding surface didn't get stuck on the side of the rail at all. It would just slide perfectly. The only thing that was a bit grippy with the wheels, because there's no cut-in on the side of it, was the hurricane on the rail. And I felt a bit of grip and resistance there. So that was the only trouble I had with locking in with that wheel but doing feebles and crooked grinds and stuff didn't grip at all so I don't know why the hurricane maybe it was me I had my body weight different but I did notice it was a bit more grippy when it come to the hurricane on that rail the other big concern I had was doing flip tricks at the DIY spot so the conicals that I usually ride have a much rounder edge than the tablets do the tablets are pretty much square so like I said before when I'm doing my flip tricks I scoop a lot of them I'm not so good at popping and getting my board off the ground especially when it comes to my tray flips and I had so much trouble tray flipping on these wheels I couldn't get the scoop right, I couldn't get the pop right, it just took me so long to land a tray flip and that's something I can pretty much do almost every try. All the kick flips, nollie flips and everything else I did, the switch heels and stuff, they worked fine but they're not tricks that I usually scoop so I didn't have a problem doing them, it just come down to the tray flips. There's a wide riding surface and there's a boxed off wheel so I really have to pop my tricks if I want to do those type of tricks. Which isn't bad on the wheel, that's just something I will have to get used to just because of the way I do those flip tricks. But lock-ins on the round rails were perfect. I knew they would be because of the squared edge but it just felt so good to lock in and hold all my grinds on the flat bars. And then heading off to skate the street spots, I had no problem on the rough ground. The wheels felt so good. At the first spot, I was doing a few manuals and the board felt really stable because of how wide the riding surface is. Riding on the rough ground during all the other street spots were really good. So these wheels impressed me. They passed every test. The only negative I found is because of the flip tricks, but like I said, it's because of the way I do the flip tricks. I need to learn how to pop my board up more rather than scooping it. So they're actually amazing. I'm not sure if I want to go back to conicals. I'm going to keep riding these wheels until they're pretty much dead or if I want to change up my wheels in the future and try a different shape but these are actually so good if you like this video check out my spitfire conical review right here that's also a great wheel but i'm really loving these tablets at the moment so check that video out let me know what you guys think about the tablets and what your favorite shape wheel is and i'll see you guys in the next one peace oh, oh, <laughs>